this was my only hope that they will not cancel the NCA. And when they when they told me that they cancelled, I just I like, cried and like I couldn't even think like this is why I woke up every single morning. This is why I trained hard. It's like it was like I got shock. It was actually in Ken's office, you know, very simple, you know, championships have been cancelled. So I called her on the phone and you know, just having to break the news was, was the hardest thing, you know, telling somebody that someone they've worked for, you know, essentially, not just all season, but, you know, over the last three years that she's been here on campus and, um, you know, it's, it's heartbreaking. It was, it was one of the hardest things that I've had to do. I know that I love swimming. I love being in the water. I like being fit. So, like, I know that I will find the new motivations. She's got a great mental attitude, a great outlook, and you know, there's nothing that's really going to slow her down. You know, she always wants to do something that's more challenging. She wants to work harder. She wants to do more, which is which is fantastic. It's hard to see what is really going to happen. You know, a lot of uh, nations are they're starting to quarantine, and people are on lockdown, and they can't really do a whole lot. Um, so, I mean, sport's kind of secondary to, to everything else that's going on. So many Olympian people cannot practicing, like, or even if they can, like, it's, it's not the same. I hope that the Olympic is going to be next year or two years later and I have uh, opportunities to qualify. Oh, I'm what? so excited. Like, I have a flag on my wall uh, with the Olympic rings and just when I woke up like yeah I, I have to be there so I'm, I'm excited so I, I really hope that still I have opportunities. My parents doesn't want me to go home. It's really hard but my parents know that I'm safe here. Europe is really bad now. Um, my sister in quarantine, my parents cannot work. I just I worried about them. My mom is texting me every two hours like are you okay like we are talking like when we can. It's hard it's hard but it's not just for me for everyone. Yeah.